with a nice stun dart and take him out with a flamethrower. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Bounty Hunter class on the planet Hutta. Hi, my name is Blaine Christine. I'm a producer at Bioware Austin, and now we're going to give you a quick look at the Smuggler. So here we're looking at our Smuggler class. Obviously, the Smuggler represents the Han Solo fantasy in the Star Wars universe, and our Smuggler begins on the world of Ord Mantell. Now, Ord Mantell is a war-torn world in the Star Wars universe where the Republic is duking it out with some Separatists, and your mission as a smuggler is to run guns to the Republic side to help them out, should you choose to accept. Now, in thinking about what we could do with gameplay to make this class unique, we had to think about what Han Solo does in the movies. So what does he typically do? Well, normally he's running down hallways, firing over his shoulder, or perhaps he is shooting around a corner. So here you're looking at our first ever cover mechanic in an MMO. You can see there are some green indicators in the world which tell the player where they can take cover, and you can see that our uh, player character is able to switch between cover points as well as they fire upon the enemy. You may also notice that there's a green indicator above their enemy's head that tells us that we have a defensive bonus against that enemy. As we go into a cover a second time here, you may want to watch the quick slot bar at the bottom of your screen, and you'll notice that we have a different set of abilities whether we are in cover or out of cover. And a nice use of the flashbang grenade there, a little bit of crowd control for the smuggler, a good way for him to take on multiple enemies. Again, the game is all about heroic combat. And that is a quick look at our barrage ability. The smuggler is able to fire off a whole plethora of blaster bolts at once to take on enemies. But of course, even the smuggler has to be able to deal with enemies up close and personal, so let's see what he has at his disposal here. Well, the smuggler is a classy guy. Now we're going to give you a quick look at the planet Korriban. This is a special reveal, the first look at the Sith Warrior class. Now the Sith Warrior starts on the planet of Korriban. Those of you who played the original Knights of the Old Republic will remember Korriban well. It is the home of the Sith Empire. It is in fact where the Sith learn their training, learn the ways of the dark side of the Force. So we're starting you off here, and uh, you're not yet a high-level Sith. You're still uh, proving yourself. One of your first tasks is to go into this tomb and clear it out. Uh, these tombs have been recovered, discovered again numerous times, and this particular one has actually been infested with uh, some chlor slugs and some tomb looters. So we're going to see what you do as a melee class here. Again, in keeping with what we've said before, we want to make sure that your gameplay experience, your combat, feels as iconic, as much like a Sith warrior as possible. So you have that force charge move. You can get in very close very quickly, and then you can finish people off pretty darn effectively, especially when you have your lightsaber. But now, of course, you're not always going to be taking on melee combatants. Sometimes you're going to take on some uh, NPCs, people who have the ability to shoot from range. We wanted to show how you can handle that. First, a, a quick look at the inside of this tomb here. The tomb of Ajunta Paul on the planet Korriban. So there are a couple of uh, humanoids ahead. Let's see how we can take them on. Nice to notice that your enemies do take cover. Uh, notice also that you have an ability to deflect some of those blaster bolts. Very nice. And that's your first glimpse of the Sith Warrior class on the planet Korriban.